Hello and welcome to another episode of Literary Gladiators, the show where we discuss and debate literature in all of its forms. If it's written work, it's game. Let's meet the panel. Hi, I'm Larry. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm Ari. And I'm Josh. And today we are going over a math essay for the first time. Uh, I was hoping... Uh, uh, because uh. he's a cruel individual. Say this. I thought that incorporating uh, math, which is probably, that was my least favorite subject in school, my Me least favorite too. subject in co college, maybe find something that was fun to read about math, uh, but... Who told you I this was fun? The, I went into this blind. You did. What? Yes, you did. Blind date with an essay. How did you... No wonder you couldn't check how many fingers I was holding on. But we are going to be discussing abstracting the Rubik's Cube. And you just dropped everything. How did you find this, Josh? I want to start there. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to start there, too. As somebody who swore <laughs> off math after Calc 1 I, for the rest of her life. I didn't even make life. it to Calc 1. <laughs> I, I, I went to modern college math and I was done. I discovered a series uh, that I wanted to give a chance called The Best Writing About Mathematics, or The Best Writing on Mathematics. It's a yearly... There's a whole book of it. Boy, if that's the best, it's, I'd hate to and, see what the and worst was. Oh, please. That was not a good article. No offense. <laughs> well, well, let's, let's save the good discussion. Yeah, even though. I agree that it wasn't a good article. It was. It presented itself as having potential. It failed. Oh my god. <gasps> let's present the discussion starter. Abstracting the Rubik's Cube is an essay covering the enthusiasm and fascination that comes with solving the Rubik's Cube and its many variations. Nelson incorporates a lot of visuals and brings about theories that may provide the reader with assistance on solving the cube. Did this essay help you develop a better understanding of solving the Rubik's Cube? Oh, there was assistance Absolutely. with visuals. No. No. <laughs> Yeah, Absolutely! It totally made me realize all the dimensions and all the amazing things of- Of course it didn't, Josh! <laughs> I don't even think it was intended to. <laughs> I think this was a person- this was written It was by interesting, a but not really. I, I had a hobby. I would like to say- That is a that very, very esoteric hobby. <laughs> and the, the old face is wonderful. But has no idea of how to convey it to people who aren't Let's already... be reasonable. There's only yeah. one line yeah, in the say, entire article that I enjoyed. Let me say that if you are a math person who enjoys Rubik's Cubes, I highly recommend it. <laughs> I can't even do that. I think that it had, the, it had, it had potential. I am not one of yeah. those people. I can't even it had, do that. Yeah, it had the potential. However, me. it overloaded with too much of, I think that incorporating untraditional variations like the multi-sided and the yeah, advanced. That. Right, and getting into the it, uh, different geometries. I think that it mm -hmm. did way too much there because if, they're, if it's the a market is trying to incorporate not just the mathematic enthusiasts, the Rubik's Cube enthusiasts, and the general readers. There is a very specific audience that this person is writing to. And they and already know the everything person, that's in the exactly. article. And they are the person that enjoys math and Rubik's Cubes. And, and coming you know, up with with different I, dimensional I, I, I'm Rubik's I'm going to believe cube. that there, there are puzzles. Rubik's Cube enthusiasts. There are. Oh, yes, there are. I've yes. seen them on YouTube. They're there. Mm -hmm. The no. ones who can like do it with one hand, yeah, without I, I have and, and the ones that can do various ones at one time, same times, yeah. Which is I do incredible. have to say, yeah. As st as soon as I started reading this, I said, "You Clidian me." Yeah. <laughs> get it? You Clidian <laughs> geometry. Oh. You, you, you yeah, Clidian. It. You're, You're taking a page from <laughs> are you, Charlie and Trevor. Are you but I would me? say, I would honestly say, there was it. one line in this thing that actually I enjoyed. If that, if this article was literally just that one line. <laughs> It would have been fine. That was the very last line. Uh, something about an island and ignorance and a shore. Uh, oh, oh yeah. About how. Oh, that wasn't even. As that John wasn't Archibald even, Wheeler. Yeah, that's John wrote. Archibald Wheeler. You called We live on an Wheeler. island surrounded by a sea of ignorance. It's not even. As our island of knowledge grows, so does the shore. So you're right. Of our that ignorance. doesn't even count because he quoted that from Archibald Archie from Archburg. I but mean, he, it doesn't he count. He utilized it in. Yeah, he utilized it. In, but I do like that case. quote. I should have kept my notebook over here because my notebook, when I got to that section, because I I, try, I made an attempt to mm. read it um, last, and last. it and I wrote it d abstracting a Rubik's cube. What? It's numbers. 
and then it said, oh, yeah. "This is not my kind of reading." <laughs> yeah. So I know, I know we've Those been talking about. I know we've been talking about how much we're confused, or we didn't think it was interesting. However, I do at least want to bring up what I thought of it because mm -hmm. even though it was difficult to read, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys, but at least I understood some of the concepts that were were, were going on. Mm -hmm. I felt that w what the experiments were, they were doing were, were mm -hmm. interesting if you just put mm -hmm. them on paper. Mm -hmm. And you know, to explore like external stuff through changing dimensions and things mm -hmm. is fascinating. It's just, do you really need to write it down mm -hmm. and tell us? Like we'd rather see something yeah. like that. I think yes. that this would be better hands on. Yes. And, and it's That's not, kind of what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. yeah, on yeah, a more it's, serious it's like, aspect it is of it. Basically, it's basically, this so, is it's a short theoretical. version. It's theoretical, yes. right? Yeah. How, you can't even create a four-dimensional four no, no, image. You probably could do mm -hmm. something in like you a modeling program, though. That's what I'm mm -hmm. saying. I mean, you could do something that they did. Like, the illustrations that were in there, that's, yeah. that's about as as good as you're going to get. I mean, but I guess I, you could animate them in some way. I think so. that there were some things. I did, I did like the pictures. Maybe they should have made it a picture book. Yeah, well, that's what it was. I, I think that the cubes can those be are, made into squares. I think that they should have revolved around the pictures a little bit more. Yes, yeah. and I mean, so I'm by no them. means dumb. I just hate math, and I really kind of found this to be very, uh, like, fund fundamental. I guess mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, okay. it's just hmm. like when you take that that history of math you mm. know like it just it came across so it's just, very shallow is what it is yes mm. that's it's like an uh, excellent it's like, way of putting it it's I like think. this uh this uh exists and it's very complicated and i think that's wonderful mm -hmm. and this is even more complicated and i think that's wonderful and this is even more complicated and wonderful than the thing that i just got if done i had, had a little bit more background on even just anything to do with the algorithm mm. of the Rubik's Cube, then maybe I could have appreciated it, but I'm not going to lie, I got two pages in and I was like, nope, I'm done. This Having is more of a mathematical background does help. Oh well, um, yeah, you would need yeah. a lot of background. Yeah, they do make mention to a lot of points that... It's basically a smaller version of... Right no, and it doesn't do a good job of explaining it either. Which is, so it's like, who is this I would agree with it's that. It's literally for somebody who, like you said, already knows what they're talking about. Remember and I told you, more, but that remember I told you about Brief History of Time? To read this. It was like a yes. dumb, uh, not, yeah. I don't want to say dumbed down, but it was, a, it was an easier version to understand mm -hmm. of Brief History of Time. In essence, I think that this just needs something like that. Mm -hmm. It needs to be made simple. I don't know how you're going to do it. Well, it needs to figure out who its audience is. It's not yes. me. The, the difference that I I'm see between this and something... It's not I, me. I've read... I read the Best American series sometimes. I've read two of the Best American Science and Nature writing essays. Those are more appealing to me as a reader, despite the fact that Science and Nature are not uh, areas that I'm the strongest in. But they make them engaging. I have this no do problem sitting no. down and reading something complicated to learn. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it, it's you don't. I feel like you don't really learn anything mm -hmm. from this because, as mm -hmm. you said, it's theoretical. It's fundamental. It's something that's further than the knowledge I have to get to that point. Does that I mean, sense? literally, you could take something like this. Maybe. Yeah. This mm -hmm. you could take something like this. I could take something like this, and in one minute, I could make it exactly the same content make it much more interesting for instance you do it like this you take a square you go across and then you go down and then there's more you go right up around and then you put two faces on the side <laughs> and two on the top and then you put two here you can add the dimensions if you really want to feel that way and if you do you can match up the squares and then you can change all your trigonometry except it's not triangles but triangles are actually made in squares you know, you can make more fun. Uh, <laughs> all right. No, but listen, I want to say, what this, what I think they could have done to make this interesting, right, was instead of trying to go through all these different kinds of puzzles and say, oh, look at this, isn't this great, isn't this is wonderful and complicated, if they just took one abstraction of the Rubik's Cube and said, and went into further detail, went into five pages worth of, of detail on just one of them. Just concentrate on the regular cube. Yeah, or even if you want to do it one level above and say, okay, we're going to do a fourth dimensional cube and explain why that's interesting and how that's possible. and what Make it another article. 
or even keep, 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 or, like, like, yeah, I know there are one I, article for one it, puzzle. Yeah, I know there's like five by fives too. So the way I see it, it's um, this this article, this essay, is not. I, it's not for the average reader. No, it's not. It, it's there's Thank there doesn't seem to it. be a way for it I to be dumbed be down more to it's our all right. It's not even about being not dumbed down. Not saying we're dumb. It's just we math has are, got our strong area. Yeah, yes. yeah. I'm not. A and math therefore, math. it's friend, very my obvious that's not love. for us. No, <laughs> you know, I, mean, I don't like even think it's it for like a turkey on Thanksgiving. I don't even think it's for people who who like math because it's just like it's like a list. It's just a list. Could it's it's a a list of it might just be for uh, yeah. Nelson. That's it. That's yeah. Yeah. Is like there like a an afterthought here or a I, something? I bet any of the uh, articles mentioned in the further reading like, what, section what is, what is, we'll go are more back. interesting <laughs> than the article. What the heck is this? Like, am I supposed to know what that is? That that's looks like that's to, that looks that's like supposed a, to help explain the point. Yeah, but yeah, it, that's it, a, it looks like someone people. grilled a peanut <laughs> or a bean. So. Literally, just put it on a. Waffle iron, just go. That's what it looks like. I'll bring it up to the front. Waffle yeah. beans. It's supposed to be. A it is probably more interesting that this guy may have just invented the very first waffle bean than anything else he said. You <laughs> have waffle bean. I, I they be, they show the black and rude. white not on the regular page, but in the middle of the book they have colored I mean, image, uh, color images. I, 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 I like. Something I did like appreciate this. the content. It's just the way it was. It's not meant for people like us. It was too much and it's just not meant for people It's not meant for anybody. That's my point. I, <laughs> because I, the, I, that I, that I would disagree with. with. Because I, I, the I point that there, there is a niche. No, of, there's people. Is, math, there is a math, niche. There's enthusiasts of, for math and there's enthusiasts for Rubik's Cube. Yes, uh, and there is a cross section of that. And even those people would not enjoy this article because of the fact that it is just a list of things that exist. That I'm not sure about. It's the just square. a list of things that exist. That's what those people like. <laughs> yeah, but those people already know these things exist. They don't need an article. That's... They, <laughs> I mean, maybe they would be into something hands-on, but I think maybe they'd be into something like this, too. I think it depends on the person. I, I think we're abstracting Who our needs, own Rubik's Cubes right now. <laughs> Who reads lists and enjoys them? People uh, that would... Know. People that would people be people who are list enthusiasts. Yeah, yeah okay. there are list, list enthusiasts. enthusiasts. <laughs> list enthusiasts. <laughs> I, 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 that's who it's for. I'm in people who do people, people, not for people who like math. It's not for data. general audiences. It's not for people who like Rubik's cubes. <laughs> it's not for the cross section of people that like math and Rubik's cubes. <laughs> I, I, I think it's this is for the people I that like is, lists. I think this is payback for the Bald Soprano. There's part of that. There's part of that too. <laughs> I'll reiterate. It's for the people that like math. Listen. People that likes Rubik's cubes, the people that like math and Rubik's cubes, and the people that like lists. And the nope. very, very, and the story, very, wrong. and it the is very the cross section of those people. It is a Venn diagram <laughs> of those people. People who like lists and Rubik's cubes and math. It, it, it's very for those very, three very, people. very, very close friends of Royce Nelson who can't say no when he presents them their article. If you're a math major and you're watching this video, please so let me know if you're interested in this article. Yeah, that that's. The that's how and what your background is. We can do you like math? Thing. Do you like Rubik's Cubes? Do you, like, do you lists? like lists? Or do you like all three? Or two of the three? Do you like waffles? Yeah, like waffles. Already, oh do we have God. any final thoughts? No. I no, think I don't. said everything I wanted. <laughs> if you're interested in reading this and some other articles, uh, here if. is the best writing on mathematics from 2019, edited by Morsai. That makes me very uh, sad. Tichy. <laughs> uh, he is a math instructor from Syracuse University. That's why I just want to take a look at this there series has, has be, been taking place since 2010. There has to be at and least one there. better article on mathematics. That could you know what? I don't know. The titles you know are really scary. That's why I was flipping through. <laughs> You're right. This is scary. Burning the midnight coffee. That's why says. would you do that? <laughs> it's that, coffee. I'm just curious. I'm just curious though. Like you got to look at the article. Oh wait a minute. You know what? It might have just been a bad article you picked because this one actually yeah. talks about Alfred Turing. There's, there's you one about uh, yes. Okay, so um, Alfred Turing. Let me just explain this. Alfred Turing is actually very interesting. There was a movie made about him called The Imitation Game, and what it is is, Alfred, oh, sorry, Alan Turing. Sorry, Alan Turing. He, yeah, he, Alan he Turing. made a um, there's a movie called The Thank you. Uh, there's a movie called The Imitation Game. What he did is he basically created. Did he create the code or crack the code? He cracked, cracked the code. It, yeah. He cracked a code 
that the Germans were using in World War II. You and, on the British side. Yes, and what happened is they were able to find out like all this kinds of information, but he, he wasn't really it wasn't really mathematics, it was more like logistical, mm -hmm. linguistic thing, is that there was this bombing on a place yeah. in Britain. The Germans bombed a place called Coven, Coventry because that's where the Germans expected there to be like a big mm -hmm. British institution. Because he cracked the code, he was able to basically tell them, have them drop the bomb on an empty location where no one was going to get hurt. I know that. I know a little bit about Alan Turing. You can't be mm -hmm. so. I'm not going to the math and not. I am not going to say that the article that was asked to be read by this man right here <laughs> was anything interesting because it wasn't, and I didn't mm -hmm. understand it. <laughs> but maybe the collection is worth checking. There was out. something maybe. about geometry. Geometry the I'm sorry, gen gerrymandering right. too, which looks pretty appealing you as can well. See your face. I just like, yeah, like I'd like to read that. I did something yeah. to Josh, and he's that might be interesting. getting back at us. Josh yeah. Lavin? No, that's my Josh. That's what. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm talking about this Josh. Uh, what? Uh, remind me. I said I feel like. I told, I, I told you, it's, oh, this is revenge. I yes. told you, I told you. No, no. And I, and he's even, he won't even let us not like it. That was some joke. He's like, like you're going to read this and you're going to like it. I wanted to do a manifest, say, and I thought... Anger, the creator the, of the Gladiator. I, I think it's back. I think he will yell at you. Larry, Larry I think it's backfired. I don't think he likes it either. Already. But... It's okay, don't worry. We're all a really happy family, just not right now. Already. And it's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody please bring over uh, no, Rubik's Cubes? Are we abstracting them? Thank you, Dan. Oh, boy. We are going to try and solve these Rubik's Cubes. I suck at this. And the first one to do so is the winner. Oh, you're funny. Yeah, he, he's going to do it in like five seconds, I'm sure. Yeah, he's probably got his all figured out. Right? Uh, you should have looked up the algorithms while you go over them. So. so they are random? Yeah, they're completely random. Do you have five years? Uh, this is this is probably going to have to be. These like, are really well randomized. <laughs> you did a great I got, job. I got a white one on the same side. Yay! <laughs> Look, I got two blue. How do you so like that? I don't know how to get the number. I have four, oh, I five, have two wait, blue wait, and the two red blue. Ones. God damn it! <laughs> I got lost. Why? Why? Why has Josh made us this do this? This is revenge. I knew it. Why has he done it to us? I didn't us? think you guys hated Rubik's Cubes this much. I don't. I, I'm just I can't curious. say I hate them. I'm just not very good at them. <laughs> oh, I got another red one. So now do we have to solve the entire Rubik's yeah, Cube or can we just get one side? Long. Because that's right, what I'm you're getting two from me. <laughs> that's where you start, ain't it? Yeah, solving one side is part one. Hmm. Okay, I just need one more. I just had oh. more than I did when I... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, this is wrong. I got five out of nine below. How's that? <laughs> I, got eight, I got eight out of nine right now. I keep changing colors because I get frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like I'm trying to solve blue, so I got three yellow right in a row! <laughs> like, woo! Wow! <laughs> I meant to do it. Oh, 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 oh. There's another blue. No. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I only need one orange. <laughs> I've been so close this entire time. That's a good strategy to ch uh, concentrate on one color at a time. I don't think it's the right strategy, but boom. All orange on oh. one side. Really? <laughs> How the hell did you do that? <laughs> I, I, she probably did it randomly. It's random. It, I, I know there's there's something about how if you want this one to go here, you have to turn this one and then turn that, but that's... That, uh. I did not see Dominica mix this up, so... I feel right there. <laughs> Even if you I did, were you attention. counting backwards? Like, okay, it's three turns I made to sure the left I didn't on pay. the upper. I, to be... like, <laughs> I don't see a way out of this. Wait a minute, I think there I just got one side. <laughs> yeah, I got one side. Oh, yeah, Are okay. you serious? Huh. Oh, oh, I, I thought I, I was really close. Hi, Rubik's Cube. Hello. Oh, I thought. Just how much did you yell? You got one step closer to solving it. Huh? Just one step closer to solving it. No, no. <laughs> I'm not that gullible. No, I did puzzles and problem solving. The first step was to get one side uh, full colored. Oh, I, there was one time, one time. 
ever my entire life. I'm 30 years old, by the way. In 30 years, I was once able to get two suck. And that's that. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Rubik's Cubes were new. It was 1980. <laughs> you are old enough. And here I oh, thought you were so young, Larry. <laughs> no, I'm old. No, I haven't gotten That's funny. Much, I haven't gotten much further with them. Yeah. Then I'll oh, mess up my yeah. orange. You're so cool, Josh. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> Why? I like thinking I'm smart. <laughs> yeah, there's supposed to be like a specific You know, when we were talking about be. history and literature, we all felt like on top of the world because we all thought we were smart and educated. And then here he comes yeah. with his abstracting the Rubik's Cube. And yet he still hasn't gotten <laughs> And yet, yet here we are playing with a Rubik's Cube on film, <laughs> yeah, was, allowing him to do this to us. <laughs> just being put up, by the way. <laughs> no. well, the only thing that makes me feel any better is the fact that there might be somebody out there watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Somebody's sitting there they counting, are. going, no, no, if you only turn that way. <laughs> you fool! You fool! You're going the wrong way! Okay, this one I can make. Fuck, I messed up my orange. I mean. <laughs> Do it, this one's a kill one. Jessica. Oh my god, I am now. My orange is messed up now. Yeah, well, that's gonna. That's Can't gonna happen. Up, right? Jessica. Yeah, how could you <laughs> can I say that? Hold on, I've got to fix it. I've never heard can such language. Yeah, <laughs> can I do this? You should that? just beep that out. <laughs> no matter what I try to do, I'm going to mess up the blue. And I already I've do messed mess up, up the orange, and now I can't fix it. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> All right, that makes everything work. <laughs> Ha -ha. You're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so How do we end it now? You can't just say, oh well. It's just Josh sitting there laughing at us. <laughs> That's how we end it. Like, I'm just, all right. Now what have I done? I've got two orange facing this way and one orange facing this way. It doesn't work. How did I do it? I've messed it up. <laughs> They're on opposite sides, so I can't turn it. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> Howdy. All I did was two clicks, and now the orange is gone. <laughs> well, I got four. I'm oh, sure yeah. it's there somewhere. Oh, wait, I got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, she, she's talking about the side that she already did. Like. Yeah, I know, but she did it again. I haven't even done it the first time. <laughs> Right. My goal right now is just to change the color. If I can at least yeah. change the color, I'll be happy. I don't care about anything else right now. I just want to change the color. I'm afraid to try another color. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Right. I give up. Yes, this is what it was like in 1988. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. I'm going back to the paddle with the ball on it. <laughs> The rubber band, band you know. The paddle with the <laughs> it's more my speed. Okay, also, I had the hat with the with the propeller. Oh, I almost got all the green. <laughs> oh, you're going for green too. <laughs> I'm going for green. Are you now? I am. Oh, yeah. oh look, I'm almost got. Gonna... Okay, I've got everything except the middle. <laughs> Do you still have the other color too? No. No, no, I lost it. I, I said I was just trying to change the color. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that might help. You, Almost you, on one you. side. Why is she speaking across? Got me. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Look who got green! Woo! I'm about Not to with orange, too. but I got green! By itself. That's pretty good. <laughs> and he's just like, that's really good. Oh, wait, wait. Pick a color. Pick a color. Pick a color. I'm going to try. Which one? I don't know. Which one? Red? Cool. Blue. Um, blue, da ba dee da ba die. I was doing well, and then I started to try to do a different color or something. Then Josh came along. Josh. 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 So I'm one. I'm getting good at this. I'm one away. One color at a time. <laughs> yeah, sweet. I think I just got it. Uh -huh. Green. Green. <laughs> oh, yo! I almost got yellow by accident. He's almost getting things by accident now. <laughs> <laughs>
show off. I'd like to get one on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> This is impossible. That's what this is. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to get the algorithm for this kind of. The thing. algorithm? Are you really? The algorithm. algorithm. Are, are you just trying to sound smart? Because you're like. No, that's the word. I heard the word algorithm. algorithm. <laughs> I'm going to solve the puzzle using an algorithm. <laughs> Sugar puff. Sandwiches. No, wait, 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 wait. You know. Spin, spin. <laughs> Larry's just killing up, man. <laughs> Josh, did you figure out an ending yet? <laughs> Can you end this nightmare? <laughs> already done. No, 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 no. I almost got orange. I almost got orange. Give me one second. It's gonna. Uh, orange, you glad? Ari almost got orange. <laughs> Get it? Wait, where'd my red there? No, but I'm glad that Ari, Ari did get orange. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's three colors now. Jesse just can't get red. I got yeah, two well, colors. Yeah, we'll do them all together. <laughs> then, then you got something. Yeah, then you can show off. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I Although, don't, to me, you can show off because I still haven't been able to have one color. So. How quickly can I get yellow here? But I could still pretend that, you know. The reason I'm not getting one color is because I'm trying to do all six at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dan believes me. Right, Dan? I have no idea. Right, Dan? <laughs> Yellow is there. Oh, I lost my red. Look at that. You can do it, Larry. I believe in you. Wait, how does that happen? Why are there so many whites? <laughs> Why are there so many whites? <laughs> I was going to make a really bad joke, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Probably for the best. <laughs> I must be getting color blinder. Color blinder? <laughs> a plan that you're already color blind? Yeah. Back to one freaking white and a red. Ah, so frustrating. Wait. I just wanted to see what that would look like. Because <laughs> I can't even get that. Of course, I get on one side is red, red, red. No! I am literally always, always one away. Wait a minute, if it's switching sides, then that means if I do this. Can I just take the sticker off? Switch it. Yeah. When I do that. You should be able to pop them out. I do. You just pop it out. No, pop the whole thing. Other side. That's how we used to solve it. That's how we used to do it back, back in, in the, the 80s. Day. Yeah. <laughs> and we all felt really smart, though, for doing it. Yeah, I've lost two red. Hold on. How did this happen? It was long. <sighs> you got seven minutes left. We'll have 20 minutes of you doing movies. <laughs> seven minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We're doing so well. Yeah. Already. No, 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 no. I almost got yellow. I feel like so Josh hates us. <laughs> Just drop the cube. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No. Yes. No. Possible. I think we're going to close up here. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to figure out. Uh, now, as soon as this video is going off, I'm going to put this down. And throw it against the wall. And maybe I'll revisit it in, in 2048. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe by then I will have enough wisdom. Already done. While we try and figure these out, I want to thank you guys for tuning into this discussion. Be sure to join us next time. Uh, we will probably not be figuring this out anytime soon, but if we do, we will let you know. We won't. Don't it worry. First. We won't. Keep reading, guys. No. Bye. Where's the yellow? Where's the yellow? The yellow's gone. Hey guys, this is Ari from Literary Gladiators, and next week we will be having the season finale of Literary Gladiators, where we'll be going over Crispin Kilgore's Scope is a Thing We Cannot Learn, which is a poem that was written during the quarantine. Uh, if you are interested in supporting our channel, please come and, and subscribe to our Patreon, and we hope to see you next time here on Literary Gladiators, and remember to keep reading.